HDT Hunter Wolf. Today's first piece of equipment has been designed specifically for the needs of the military. It's a robotic platform from the American company HDT Global. The mobile system meets the needs and requirements of infantry soldiers. The details and features have been created with the soldiers in mind. The name of this device is Wolf, which means Wheeled Offload Logistics Follower. A stable six-wheel base allows the platform to move even in aggressive conditions. Hunter Wolf can travel off-road, on narrow roads, steep slopes, or even in the jungle. It is strong enough to carry up to a thousand kilograms of cargo for 120 hours. Developing military vehicles is a difficult and risky job because the vehicle has to withstand a great number of tests. The Hunter Wolf demonstrated great results though. For example, the system demonstrated its resistance, overcoming 100 kilometers in 23 hours, six hours faster than the vehicle that came in second. Therefore, this robot will be of great support for the infantry. It will allow soldiers to travel longer distances while getting less tired. Bazina Riot Believe it or not, this vehicle is the most powerful riot control system in the world. When special services have to deal with an aggressive crowd, the lives of those on duty are in danger. Bazina Riot is designed to keep them safe. It looks like a huge moving shield, but it actually consists of three parts. A base structure weighing three tons and special tanks connected to two water cannons to push back the demonstrators. The shield is adjustable and can be used in a variety of situations. The minimum width is four and a half meters, but the sliding metal sheets can increase the width to seven and a half meters. The height is almost four meters. In addition, there's an elevator in the back which can raise officers to a height of about 5 meters. The shield is thick, strong, and will protect the officers from Molotov cocktails and 7.26mm bullets. Bazina Riot will be useful in a variety of situations. For example, it's possible to block the passage or use the vehicle to destroy barricades. The Guardian S At first glance, it might seem that the next vehicle is a mechanical worm that escaped from an experimental laboratory. However, reality is much more boring. The Guardian S really does look like a snake or a worm, but this form was not chosen by chance. The RC robot was designed specifically for visual inspection. It can go up to narrow and difficult to access places, find cavities or holes, and examine them carefully. all thanks to a high-quality camera and a large number of sensors, e.g. infrared, gas, and vibration. The Guardian S assesses the situation while allowing people to remain completely safe. The robot is not afraid of even the most dangerous chemicals and can also be used for military reconnaissance. Otsor OR3 Patrolling different areas is an important part of the work of police officers, guards, and other special services. Traditionally, this work is performed by trained individuals. At the same time, it is a time-consuming job that does pose a threat. Fortunately, things could change very soon, because there are already robots designed specifically for patrolling. For example, Free Robot from the Otsor Company in Singapore. The robot doesn't need to rest, its productivity doesn't diminish with time, and in addition, it doesn't need a vacation. The OR3 works completely independently, allowing people to focus on more important tasks. Surprisingly, the robot looks friendly, doesn't scare people, and makes them feel safer and completely secure. While OR3 patrols the streets, you can approach it at any time and ask for help or information. 
In a critical situation, the robot will scare off intruders with a siren and a flashing beacon. The robot can also be used by the police to receive information about a situation and to give recommendations. A special scanner constantly monitors the space around it and allows the robot to stop when an obstacle appears, either moving or static. OR3 also notifies and warns about illegally parked cars and abandoned or suspicious objects. In addition, the facial recognition system allows it to remember and identify criminals. Five Watt Green Laser Dazzler System. Here we have a small, mobile but quite powerful unit. It's a non-lethal blinding laser weapon. It was first developed to fight terrorists, but it can also be used for other tasks. The directed green beam causes a temporary dazzle and has a psychological effect, which makes the enemy lose the ability to act accordingly. In addition, the moving beam creates a light curtain effect that prevents snipers from aiming at a target. It also interferes with visual observation, even using optical devices. The main advantage of the system is its compact size. It can even be installed on the roof of a car. Skywall 100 We've reached today's last specialized piece of equipment. It looks pretty intimidating, but fortunately it's not designed to attack people. Skywall 100 from the British company Openworks has been designed to eliminate enemy drones. The system, as you can see, is portable. It uses parachute netting as projectiles for a smoother landing. Thus, the Skywall 100 deprives the drone of the ability to continue flying and forces it to land without damaging it. The range of action is 100 meters. It should be noted that the device is very easy to use. Even an inexperienced person can do it, all thanks to the smart aiming system, which in a few moments determines the speed of the target and the distance from it. This will allow you to shoot with great precision. The weight of the device is about 10 kilograms. No more than eight seconds are needed to set it up. It should be noted that the Skywall 100 is the most compact version of the device. There are also units that shoot at a distance of 200 or even 300 meters, so they are much bigger.